Uh, hello, uh, in this video I want to talk about uh, the art of storytelling for business and how to really win when it comes to uh, marketing. Uh, before I begin, down below there's a link in the description and if you do click on it, uh, there's training on how uh, you can really make a, a lot of money uh, you know, with social media. Okay. Now, I was, yesterday I was looking at many different business models. Uh, on the internet, and one of, them was, one of them was drop shipping. Have you ever heard of drop shipping? Uh, basically, you get a product somewhere else, and then you basically charge more for it over here, and that's how you make money. <laughs> and <clears throat> it's hard to really give someone value to someone, and uh, that was one of the reasons why this one guy I was listening to um, on YouTube quit. He was like, I wasn't seeing, I wasn't giving any value. I was like, well, Why am I here? You know. Another reason that he quit was, because I was watching a couple of videos, reading a couple of articles about it, was that um, it's treated like a commodity. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know if you Moore's Law, the race to the bottom to zero, we, who can get things to cheapest. <laughs> it's hard to win in that category. And uh, it also kind of reminds me of this book uh, from Seth Godin about all marketers being liars. It's a really good book I've been reading uh, over the last couple of days. And if you compete on price, uh, like on some drop shipping, uh, you can lose very easily on price. They can buy it for you a couple times and they go, oh, it's cheaper over here. Bam, you're gone. Toast. And in the book, he has a really good example. He has many good stories in this book. Uh, one of them I want to share with you is about Sirius, you know, the XM radio thing. Uh, here's a question. Imagine you're in charge of all the marketing for Sirius. How would you sell it? What would you do? Do you show off all the, the features, like the hundreds of radio stations that you have? No commercials? Crystal clear songs? What would you do? Well, look, here's the thing. Most of us don't have the world view that there isn't enough variety on the radio. Okay, A lot of us don't have that. So it's tough to sell a lot of angle. And it's certainly not bad enough problem to really to pay to solve. So what Sirius did, which is brilliant, is get Howard Stern. Okay? Now obviously not everybody likes Howard Stern, doesn't want to hear him. Plenty of people don't like him. But those who are are open to hear how they can get Howard Stern by taking Howard off the radio, right? And moving him to Sirius, oh the company has basically broken radio for a lot of people that liked him. They liked listening to him. And now they took him away, put him over here in Sirius. Ooh, people are sad. Where's, where's my Howard? Yeah, the key word is broken. See? We're motivated by pain more than by gain. Radio without Howard is inferior. It's not as good as to what it was. It needs to be fixed, right? Sirius can tell me a story uh, of how they can fix it for only $10 a month. The extra stations, the reception, all the gimmicks, they don't matter, okay? In fact, according to Seth Godin in his book, Sirius shouldn't say a word about the extra features. They shouldn't even talk about it, okay? Um, what matters is that Sirius now has a chance to tell a story to people who want to hear it. And that to people who will believe it. Over time, the millions of Howard Stern fans who sign up for Sirius will discover all these extra features, like the radio stations and stuff, no commercials, and there's a couple other ones too. And some of them may even be compelling enough to tell a story about it and tell other people. And that story will spread. Okay. So the important thing is, I learned this from another marketer too, Michael, is you know, pain is what motivates people. So, you know, talking about the pain um, and then talking about, you know, people like a heaven too, those two things. But, yeah, we're motivated by pain. If, it, if we don't have enough pain, we're not motivated to do anything about it. So that's one of the keys when it comes to, to marketing and, you know, really how to tell a story. So that's one example. Now, here's a couple of really cool things in this book that I want to share with you that I learned is it, Identifying segments that are more likely to embrace this process, okay, is an essential first step in telling your story. Uh, the hard part isn't selling to them, okay. It was identifying the right group and telling 
them the right story. It's like uh, target marketing, you know, be very specific. Because everybody has a different worldview. You look at things differently, okay? And you can't change a person's worldview easily. No. <laughs> it's very tough. Uh, but you can take advantage of the opportunity to present itself when the world changes it uh, for them. Nothing is static. Nothing stays the way it, it is. And everything you build or design or market is going to change the marketplace. Do you think that's true? Yeah. I think it is. Obviously, if you work at uh, whatever you sell, like think of Amazon.com and how they change the entire marketplace. You know, they're, Walmart's falling asleep and boom, here comes Amazon, changes the way. And then Amazon has to catch up. I mean, excuse me, Walmart has to catch up. You know, they're patenting robots to work in the stores. Amazon is, you know, doing all kinds of crazy stuff with floating warehouses and drones and stuff. I saw the video on the drone. I was like, amazing. I was like, whoa. I can believe that. I probably could happen sometime in the future. Little drones come down. Here's your package. Oop. <laughs> Anyways. Now, here's another really interesting thing which I want to talk about. Seth Godin believes that most of the seeds of failure, okay, are planted long before your product is even manufactured, okay? Marketing starts before the factory is involved. If you choose the wrong story, or frame it the wrong way, you're going to lose, all right? If the rule over you or the target consumer doesn't permit the story you're telling to resonate, your story was going to fail. The only recourse is to change the consumer's rule of view. That's nearly impossible. Um, here's a couple of examples. Neil Patel, have you heard of him? Uh, he borrowed a million dollars and spent one year of his life because of this idea he thought was the greatest thing since sliced bread, his story. And it didn't work out. He failed. Me, I spent much longer. I spent years and years failing in internet marketing. And before that, I was in phone sales. And before that, I was in uh, network marketing. <laughs> I was that guy, you know, the NFL, the no friends left. <laughs> but the... Uh, the key part is to keep experimenting. And Ty Lopez, he says that whoever experiments the most wins. And I like that. I like that quote too. But you don't want to be the guy who bets his entire retirement on a smartphone app. Like one guy that I, I read about. And his whole life savings, old guy, he got his smartphone with the app and then it doesn't work. And now he's like, boom, all his money's gone. Uh, the guy who created Instagram, his name is Kevin. Uh, he had an interesting story. His first app failed. It was like an address book, and it failed. So he changed with it. He wasn't. He didn't get all butt sore. He got thick skin, and he changed, and he adapted. And um, his the second app, Instagram, uh, so succeeded. You know, sold to Facebook for one billion dollars, which was a killer deal for Facebook. Uh, so that's one of the keys: keep experimenting. Um, and uh, I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're interested in uh, earning uh, money online, I've looked at a lot of business models. Um, getting the right education and training is everything. That's key, okay? I mean, you could do it on your own, but look at me. I stumbled around in marketing for a long, long time, failing here, you know, listening to this person who's wrong and failing and failing, failing. This... Uh, this training is really, really good, okay? So check it out. Click the link below. Um, I'm sure you'll like it. And uh, yeah, I wish you the best. Take care and bye.